My uh, collection of beads that I use to decorate my ribbons or my roses and my these berries. You could put a little green bead on top. Um, the other day I came down to my studio. I have two of these containers and I came down to my studio and my beloved cats knocked over both containers. Ah! All of these beads were all over the floor. I'm telling you, I was so upset. <laughs> they were all color organized and now they're kind of not color organized. But anyway, that's what we do when we have our pets. So, so in my previous video, I showed you how to make these um, ribbon berries. So in this video, I want to show you how to add a stem to the berry. And then that, in turn, can be added to your final bouquet or any other project you're working on. So to refresh your memory, maybe you should watch the um, other video, How to Make a Berry. And we're at the final stage where we've stuffed it and we have our running stitch at the top. And now we're going to, before we draw in the thread, we're going to stick a, wire, a floral wire in there. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue, a dab of glue. I always have my glue st stick handy, um, or my hot glue gun, I should say. And um, there we go. Just put that in the center of your berry. And now draw in the thread that you've already stitched. There we go. See? Now we're just going to tie, do a few back stitches to secure it. And... Um, Tie a knot. Maybe just stitch back and forth a little bit so that it stays there for a few years. Alrighty. Tie a little knot and cut. Clean up the little loose ends. And then there you go. That's sort of the raw beginning. Isn't that cute? Now um, you need some floral tape. You can get this in a craft store and the wire too from a craft store. And I bought some um, little velvet leaves. So I'm going to add one leaf to this. But let's first start um, with the floral tape, which isn't really tape. I, I'm not sure what it is, but it's great stuff. And again, I just want to add a tiny bit of glue at the tip of the berry. It just helps to keep things in place. Now put your floral tape there and just start winding or wrapping your, your wire. Overlapping it like so. These would be fun little things to make for a wedding or baby shower or maybe not baby shower, but any kind of celebration. There we go. And you just keep doing this until you want to add a leaf. I should have started there. Anyway, wherever you want to put the leaf. And then just, um, here we go. Unwind it a bit. This stuff is great because it uh, can be reused, rewound. There we go. And just insert that leaf and wrap, wrap, wrap. Until you feel that it's long enough, you can add more leaves or you could even add a second stem with a berry. Okay, I'm just going to cut that here because I also want to show you. There we go. I'm going to show you a quick adding of a bead right up here. Just to give it a little extra beauty. Make 
make sure you have a needle that fits through the bead. Yes, this one does. A little bit of white thread. And hide your beads from your cats. Now just insert the thread. Thread your bead. Stitching back and forth, almost like you're adding a button. You can use a bead with um, same colors or contrasting colors, whatever you feel like. There we go. Done. And just make a knot, and you can kind of play around with it something you like. There. Isn't that pretty? Okay, tie that off. There we go. And thanks so much for watching and commenting and favoriting and sharing. I really appreciate it a lot. Have a great day. Keep in touch. Mm -hmm.